Bulk Bounds, Take their laundry and protection. Lysol laundry sanitizer kills 99.9% of bacteria. It couldn't alone. Yeah. Lysol, what it takes to protect. Can you like what you say? Dissolve it with your class. You only quick dissolve treatment for migraine attacks that can get many people back to normal activity. It lasts up to 48 hours. It's just one day. One day. Get at the noon. controversy in Massachusetts, some are calling a COVID fail. Two parents knowingly sent their teenager to class even though the student tested positive for the coronavirus. Now, 28 students, 28 who had contact with that team, have been asked to quarantine for 14 days. According to CNN, the parents said they found out yeah, like quarantine. they tested positive on a Friday, but thought the team should go to school the following Monday after a brief quarantine. Yeah, COVID me. To be punished. They're coming home. Even saying they could be charged with attempted murder. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. No, this, this, is, this bothers me a lot because you have to be living on another planet under the universe not to know that it's a 14 day quarantine. This is something that they have said to us since the beginning. COVID means. It's something that's been around for years, minus age, but age is included. Really irresponsible. Um, and listen, I get that there's a desperation to get kids to school. There's an antibiotic. But it hasn't been released yet. But the closest thing is Mucinex. But the COVID, we don't know what to name it or like it happens like when it gets real, real, real cold and the Hispanic seasons take over the universe. Y'all eating raw poetry, raw meat, and you know, things like that. Um, the closest thing that we we got to it is the swine flu. It's the common cold. You know, people are allergic to, it, to everything, and then we, it's a plague. It's not like it's not an uncurable virus. There's only one that God created. It's called AIDS. I mean. Like you can live with hepatitis, but you know they found you know they found a cure for it or whatever. That's not sexually transmitted. The the only thing that's incurable is a sexually transmitted disease called AIDS. COVID is like the mumps, but you got the Asian mumps. But you're not from Asia. So a 14 day quarantine is like when you go to the doctor, the doctor has you antibiotics and you too sick to go to school. The antibiotics are prescribed most of the time for seven days and then you got, you know, three or four uh, days to heal before the nurse will let you back in school. It's that. America got ignorant. Or people got ignorant. Because those are the the religious laws when they put, you know, the pledge of allegiance to the flag in school or um, um, pledge of allegiance to the Christian flag or let's pray before, you know, we start class. Or y'all took, um, y'all separated church and state. You know, things like that. That's the only thing that COVID is. It's proper medical care and proper medical attention.
Like you go to the, in elementary, you go to the nurse because you know the teacher sees that you got a fever and a headache. The nurse calls your parents and mandatory that you take them to the doctor. It's called education. And you go to the doctor. You got antibiotics for seven days, and then the doctor, the nurse at school, won't let you back for another uh, five to seven days, so you don't make the whole class sick. That's what the quarantine is. Fucking I've been coping it. Yeah, but my damn I've been coping. Let them you lying. Yeah, but you got there a lot. You damn thing. Got to get them. I got some goddamn. You got a goddamn hat. What the fuck? You just gonna take the whole box? I was a friend of a goddamn lie. I'm gonna try to be to a wall. You got to shoot me. Got my body chain for my hair. For over 10 years, the lawyers of Kennedy Legal Group have been fighting to bring justice to the children. Justice to those who have been wrongly injured due to the carelessness of a medical provider or abuse of an emergency. Justice. Bringing compensation to those who are tied up in the If you've been hurt due to the negligence of another, call Kennedy Legal Group. The consultation is free. Hence, to buy expensive skincare products to see dramatic results? Try Olay Skincare. Just one jar of microsalting cream has the hydrating power of five jars of a prestige cream, which helps plump skin cells and visibly smooth wrinkles. While Olay Retinol 24 provides visibly smoother, brighter skin. For dramatic skincare results, try I got the headache. Brand power, helping you buy it. Visit Walmart today. We have power. Skincare at an everyday low price. <laughs> I know I'm Kyle Walker. We are known for our news. When there's a chance to be in front of you. Hi, everybody. I'm Thomas Roberts here at Daily LTD's top trending stories happening right now. All of a sudden, they get turned to stop. Our roadside robbery is wrong. It's a mother dead. Our husband, seriously injured, and his six year old son, a witness. I had a song. I had a lighter in this bitch. All while their six-year-old son was watching. The Indiana couple was changing a tire on a trailer when two suspects approached, robbing them, and as the men were walking away from the scene, they turned, opening fire. Reporter Jen Smith is joining us now from our New York newsroom with more on this one. And Jen, what are police saying about these shooters here? Have they found them? Well, no, not yet, Thomas. As we speak, Indiana State Police continue to search for leads and answers to what happened here. 
Jonathan Hotstetler was driving his trailer when one of the tires blew out. He called his wife Wilma, asked her to bring him a spare, which she did. Is that like, get locked up again, man, again? Can we get the paper and go? Because I think I said, me mess. I still ain't right. I don't want this bullshit. It was on news shit. I don't know who that is. I don't want this shit. I know you had enough. My son has thanked his heavenly father over and over that he's not paralyzed. I extend forgiveness for the two murders. The end only suggests more violence. Now, Jonathan was actually shot in the neck, so it's a miracle that he survived. I also have to say his forgiveness for his two attackers is pretty extraordinary. It really is extraordinary, and we also hear the six-year-old is slowly starting to be able to talk about exactly what happened at the scene of his mother. She shot falling to the floor. Now, as she said and reported, uh, the little boy was saying that mom's going to get up again. It really is heartbreaking when you think about this. Absolutely heartbreaking. Jen Smith, thank you very much. We turn now to yet another new class over the Guest It Man. This time, a Spirit Airlines flight attendant threatening to call the cops on a passenger because he was wearing a neck gator bandana as a face cover. <laughs> Let's go to reporter Caitlin Becker in L.A. with more on this. So, Caitlin, explain, do we understand how this incident was resolved? Well, Thomas, the passenger actually ended the video before we could get any kind of resolution, so it's unclear if the police were eventually called. But what we do know is that after the video was posted, it divided the Internet over the question of whether or not that data map is adequate. The CDC has said that they are not the most effective type of map, and so Spirit requires their passengers to double up on the fabric and just use a different map. Spirit is standing by their employees saying that he did the right thing by telling that passenger that his map was unacceptable on the flight. But Thomas, because the mask class isn't enough for people, now some are questioning whether or not that flight attendant was, quote, un-American, because as you can see, that gator has stars and right. I give up. Yeah, it sounds like a real reach to me, but it is not the first mask issue, and I know it won't be the last. Caitlin, thank you. Next, a new housewife alert. At the Real Housewives of Atlanta, OG Nene Leakes announcing she will not be returning to the show. We know, Nene, you ain't coming back to the show, bitch. Might be getting a piece. The correspondent, Alicia Quarles, is joining me now to break it all down. We are going to miss Nene, that is for sure. But tell us who this new person is that could be getting a piece. Well, season 13 is going to look a lot different. Karen Gavadi is already filming with the cast, and she's joining them for an upcoming trip on the show. And she confirmed this all on IG Live. I guess the cat is out of the bag. Now, other River Housewives include actress Bruce Adora and YouTube star Latoya Ali. He's also very good friends with Candy. Now, Thomas, we don't know who told me if it's full time or just going to be friends, but either way, we know what we lost him. They bring the drama in Atlanta, and we heard that the Atlanta Housewives exec. They wanted this show to start trending a little bit younger, and this might be their idea, their way of trying to get a new audience. But I could not count any out. Don't count me now, right, Alicia? Don't Never. always do that. Always. All right, Alicia Qualls, great to see you. Thank you. Up next, for 10 years, NBC News' senior international correspondent, Pierce Simmons, has traveled and covered stories in some of the most exciting places across the globe. Now, in the new series, The Incredible World, we're getting a first-hand look inside some of Pierce's thrilling adventures. Pierce Simmons joins us now from London. He's here. It is so great to see you, my friend. It really is. I've missed that. Hey, so it's great. You look so well. Well, thank you, and you do too. I think staying at home with your family, and I'm just following you on Instagram and watching what's been going on, is good for you, especially for you, because you're so used to being on the go nonstop for NBC News. How has the COVID-19 pandemic really changed all that? Changed the work. But the problem is so. I can have get my little Anthony took my baby, so I have my baby. So. I go back to school and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> you know, I'm doing my, you know, I'm doing my work. You know, I'm over here at age, so they let me sit outside. They let me sit outside and do my, you know, my book work. <coughs> so my baby, she's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They are just so 
it's um so I'm doing my book work and my baby was like mom I want to she said are you pregnant again I said yeah because your goddamn stepdaddy didn't wait six weeks that's what happened Did my son be deemed he's dead and retarded? Yeah, I know. I ain't talking about that baby girl, but the other, you know, that was in my class. But my other kids, we, we deemed you dead and retarded, and so did my baby mom's here. I'm, they, they spoiled. What the fuck? I found out. Other than I probably was licking around my lips and shit. Cause it smoked hella weed and shit. But Brandy from Black became a teacher. So to my kids, don't run that motherfucker. It was on the news. My one baby, he was standing on the rooftop about to jump shit. So the good cop was like, what are you doing? He was like, shit. My mom, my, oh shit. Well, that's bad cop right there, shit, but we had that under control. But since I didn't want to go to school, and and I know who my real mom is, and I know who my real mom is all my life. Her name is Adrian Walker, aka Ambrosia. You know, see my baby mom, you know, my fucking know you and shit. Can you just help me? Because my mom, my, my mom, my mom, my, my mom go step on my foot or hook me with a cane and shit. I had no business doing this goddamn shit. But she knows that. And I know that. Because she ain't your witness. And so and she hearing the Satan and, and get them. So the good time get your ass down. And come on home to your goddamn, your goddamn mama before she slapped you and me. So fuck with the dead mama some friendly rip or some bitch. So she had a daddy a long time ago. She done made some songs. But she, I'm a tired motherfucker to a wall. If I got, if I got to deal with that some bitch. Like Chris did right bitch, I'm a tired of bitch to, to the crazy wall. And they got them the trade jacket and sit there and say, bitch, I should be on the channel some shit. My food. You know, my little, my little iPad, something like casino and studying on school and shit. I'm trying to bitch to the wall. I don't give a fuck. I got money back for this shit. So if y'all give me some, the government gonna give me some money. Cause I gotta sit with this on this and get all the medicine. Well, I'm just gonna steal the shit then. Like I've been doing. The fuck you gonna do? Cry? Cause y'all been doing this shit since the 80s. So I don't give a fuck. I ain't go outside and bust a motherfucker in the mouth and go on jail for eight years. I don't give a fuck. It's just, I got level six. And the only. <coughs> and the only levels that we know about is the five. So that's like maximum security prison. Yeah. Fuck you. Trump, baby daddy. It's uh. Miss O'Brien, hear the mean shit. Peter Grinch, tell me what I'm in. Peter Grinch, tell me what I'm in. Peter Grinch, tell me what I'm in. When you watch Dr. Seuss, three names in here, the Grinch, the Grinch, Woo stole his hairstyle back in the. Who don't? Cause I run around the corner and slap the fuck out of my piss wife in my damn dope case. I know everything and they and we do too. We been right. That's y'all shit. Y'all like y'all like um.
Try it and love it or give your money back. Okay. Yeah, like when the dumb man give up the game, you met the person. Y'all, you got to be too. Um, you know, he tell you, okay, the fans are hit, you know, because, you know, woo dee woo dee woo. You went in the pocket. You took the mother A ball, that's sad, go sell it, and got caught. So, which means you're not a murder guilty. You just go, you get caught, so you just go snitch on the whole damn community because we ain't in the land, and then you're going to jump through the mother, fuck the whole, he dead. That's the devil. He dead. Anybody ride with that motherfucker? Dead. Because you're not going to tell me. Yeah, he ain't now. Because you're not going to tell me before I get married. They don't fuck the biggest dick in America and I have like dick. Like, for real. That's how that shit is. But the people watching me tell me what I did yesterday, I didn't do that shit. So I'm going to tell you what the fuck I did yesterday. I probably fucked to the goddamn daddy and get the mama, bitch. Good teeth are natural. Good teeth are all. Hormel natural source monkeys. Where you've been hurt in a big time accident, you need a big time. Hey, I found my girlfriend. I'm about to. And knows how to bring a big insurance company down to size. An attorney.